I'm here with Jesse Tyler Ferguson, who just won for Fully Committed. Congratulations, Jesse. Thank you. Thanks. Tell me, what drew you to this project? Obviously, it's a phenomenal play. It's a challenging play. That's what, drew, that's what drew me to it. I'm always looking for projects that scare me and challenge me and are very different from Mitchell uh, on Modern Family. So I uh, was thrilled to be asked to look at it. And uh, nothing scarier than being on stage by yourself in charge of 40 characters. So, What's the hardest part of it? Obviously, besides the lines, besides which character am I in at this point in time, what is the hardest part for that? The stamina. Truly, I mean, it's, I, I, it's like a cardio routine for 90 minutes, sometimes twice a day. So, you know, I've lost like 15 pounds, which is great. I'm not complaining about that part. But I do leave the stage every night just drenched, like I've taken a bath in my clothes. And it's just, it's the stamina. Yeah. Congrats again on your win. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice Thank to you. See you. You too, you too. I'm here with Denai Guerrero, who just won the Sam Nor Norkin Award for her outstanding writing. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. So tell me, you know, you're bringing up so many important issues to the American theater, right? Through Eclipse and through Familiar. What drives you as an artist? Really, it's telling the untold story, getting to the voices that I think are amazing, interesting, complex, and vital that I don't see getting heard. So that's really what drives me. It's really about why are these stories not being told, and I guess I got to do it. And it's also, I'm so fascinated by these people and these stories, and or I really feel this must be heard. These people must be heard, whatever way I can put them out there. So it's usually from those places. I always say I usually begin from a place of outrage. Then I get to hope and love. <laughs> Well said, well said. So, you know, you've won Obie Awards, Helen Hayes Awards, um, but, you know, you seem like somebody who's driven from the inside, from something other than awards, but it does mean a milestone, right? So what does it mean to you when you win something like a Drama Desk Award? Uh, it means, it, it affirms what I'm doing and what I'm trying to do, and that people are paying attention, That's and I appreciate that. You know, I would, I would do it if I was incarcerated. I would do it wherever. I'd do a little thing during, like, you know, dinner break. I'd figure out rec time. I'd put on a little something, but, you you know, the fact that I'm able to be here with these astounding artists in this amazing community and, and get recognition, I mean, it's really a blessing and it just it feels really beautiful psychically, psychically and spiritually. It, it's, it's like fuel to the soul. Where do you put your effort and time, I mean, between writing and TV and films? I mean, how do you split that up and where do you sort of put your focal points? Uh, I try to uh, make deadlines, especially for my writing, like what I want to get done by when, when I can create real sacred time to get something accomplished, to get something to a certain point. Um, and then, you know, the acting sort of does its thing. It tells you when and where. Uh, so it's really about creating spaces that are sacred around the time when I'm, I'm doing my work as an actor. Sure. Well, congrats again. Well-deserved award. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you.